Good morning, this is our last day in the Grand Live. As mentioned yesterday that we try not to use the kitchen in our van. So we walk a little bit more from our uh, van to this kitchen to make our breakfast. For the chef comfort, that we, I even bought the uh, in-room heater. So my duty today is make coffee. What's for breakfast? Eggs, vegetables, and fruits. Every morning, uh, I have to actually freshly squeeze the orange juice as requested by Jim. We brought this all the way from Singapore just to make sure that he has got freshly squeezed orange juice every morning. So this is what I do. I just cut the orange into half and then thereafter I will squeeze the juice. So if it gets too cold then my hand becomes a bit more stiff that is harder to squeeze. Then it's fine. There's a heater at the back. Master Chef has done fried to stir fry the vegetable. What's next? Eat. This is how the garden outside do have a rosemary, mint, lemon, and lime, and uh, oregano. Just now on my way here, yeah, I actually saw uh, three rabbits. Breakfast is almost ready. Please come, waiter. <laughs> hey, today the weather is partly cloudy. Breakfast for today is a full bowl of fruits. Then I have uh, two beautiful sunny egg and one, what's wrong is that? <laughs> it's a bit burnt. <laughs> so I cut away the bunch. I see. Yes. Time for breakfast. Nasty. The coffee is very strong, right? Yes. <laughs> we decided to finish all the it's coffee. It's very acidic. Mm. But it's nice. Robust. Time is clicking. Now I can see the timer is blinking. Which means that uh, oh, Sean only left about one minute to enjoy his uh, hot shower. Suddenly you will have a flush of uh, cold water That means that is you left a few seconds <laughs> Immediately you heard the sound tuck, Which means the hot water is gone All good? Yes Almost there Almost there We have packed almost everything One good thing that we sit the park during the winter which is that there is no any other campus uh, by right you are supposed to leave by 10 a.m. the owner just said that oh in this season nobody is here leave anytime you want <laughs> so we are going to explore the beach before we really pack everything sunrise is just over there so if we have time early in the morning if we are not hungry actually we can watch a very good sunrise This is our treasure from the trip. So Sean is going to show everyone that how many bottles of wine we bought. also have the Rosé 2018 
last but not least, the most expensive wine from our collection this time is Cloudy Bay Te Wahi. Yeah. It's Pinot Noir 2016. In Singapore, it's only allowed one person for three liters of uh, wines. And when you exceed the amount of the limit, and you have to pay the tax. So upon arrival, once you collect your luggage, mm. right, you can go to the customs office and tell them that you need to ex uh, declare the duty unpaid alcohol. They will do the calculation for us. They will minus away our entitlement and tell us how much tax we need to pay. We're going to pack and then we're going to check out this holiday park and, and we'll try to explore a little bit of creatures if we can. And check out our happy products. So proud of ourselves. Remember we mentioned about Pukeko? So this is how you spell Pukeko. Wow. I'm hungry now. We have ordered something from the Pukeko Corner. The drinks that they offer with four different sizes. One small, medium, large and bowl. a bowl. <laughs> so we had a bowl of uh, turmeric latte and a bowl of hot chocolate. We can hold the bowl like that to warm you up. Mm, that's nice. Very nice and comforting in the chilly weather. A lot of uh, turmeric. I might do that next time at home. This cake which Jim has ordered, it comes with a slice of lemon and some greens. I ordered the cheesecake with caramel flavor. Very strong caramel taste. I pair it with yogurt. The yogurt is very light and uplifting. <sighs> Wow, there's something very unique that I never tried before. Cook it with the salmon and the potato, and then make it like a cake shape, and then they fry it or oven bake it. It's super unique. If you're passing by the Pukeko Junction, you should stop over here for a quick bite. We have a lot of time after we done the shopping to bring back to Singapore, so yes. we decided to visit this International, International Antarctic Centre. It looks so, so cute. cute. They all look very tired. Yeah. You okay? Oh, look at their eye, it has two different colors. Yeah, exactly. The entrance is right over here. So, oh, what? The person who climbed Mount Everest is a New Zealander. Oh, wow. Sir Edmund Hillary. Here it is. Over first there? thing we see, you have to get the ticket first. You also can buy your photo while you're here. We are going to take the ride. What is the ride called? Hackathon ride. So let's go for the briefing. Yeah. It will be right over outside, right? Yeah. It looks like this. Ooh. It's gonna be a very bumpy ride for two of us. Yeah, there's a sign over there that says that if you have heart diseases, motion sickness, oh. pregnant, you're not encouraged to take this ride. All good? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I have the chance to see at the front! <laughs> okay. I'll pop you behind. Alright, sure. Oh. Great. <laughs> no. wow. uh, like, you probably won't use that. Okay. All right, sure. It's warm right over here. Yeah, nice and warm. Mm. The uh, leg room space for me, which is quite comfortable enough. Uh, I don't know if there's a problem with the line that you, I have a camera, I can see you guys there. If you can hear me okay, can you give me a wave? You're back in the apartment here. I can see that. Now we have a whole way here. There is the entrance for you to access the water. 
it's not quite going up and over too far. States, Italy and South Korea. And we've got our final challenge here, which is a and your boulders, a fair bit of water, a few logs and other things hiding under the water here. But once again, demonstrating the capability of these old haglands and extreme. Thanks for riding with us this afternoon. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful day here in Christchurch. It was an amazing experience to try with, uh, what they call again? Haglund. Haglund. Yes. It is very powerful and then like you can't believe that it can really go through a difficult uh, terrain. Yeah. Woo! Snowing! Oh, finally we get some snow! <laughs> uh, no. Let's see When you visit the 4D uh, theatre, remember there's no video allowed. We're here we will wait for about 2 minutes. So that is a countdown timer Ooh, to show you that uh, the next show will start. This is a theatre. It looks quite cool, comfortable. We are flying to Antarctica. The, the engine is warming up now. Can you hear that? And we can feel the vibration on the ground. Yeah. It uh, looks like Snow City in Singapore. How long? Okay. Seven minutes. Sean, hey. how long can you keep your hand in the authentic water? Cold? It's okay. Okay. More than 10 seconds. Well done. So you have to put it in one minute. 10 more seconds. Well done. Well done. So when we came into the room, there's actually jacket for us. There is a summer in the Atlantic. So later we'll have a thunderstorm in the short while. Now it's minus 8 degrees. I can hear the machine is rolling. So you have to stand slightly over here, you'll be totally out of the frame. Oh, the light is off. <laughs> okay, the wind is blowing now. The speed of the wind is 14 km per hour right now. And it's... Uh, the no, the wind is blowing at minus 15 degrees. There is a termin There's a monitor right over there for you to show the temperature and the wind very noisy and uh, the wind is very strong now it's minus 16 degree and then uh, the wind is 25 km per hour and it's still minus 8 degree right now for your comfort you have to look for a place that uh, the wind is not blowing to your face are you okay? Hi, yeah hi. Minus 16 degree. The wind speed is speeding out again. 
and now suddenly it turned to minus 18 degrees. Yeah, it has subsided and it feels very normal right mm. now. Mm. I don't feel very cold. So the temperature is also climbing up as well. Yep. Starting to feel a bit warm. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it like, really feels slightly warmer. <laughs> oh, okay, no more wind. Yay. So back to the room, uh, to temperature which is uh, minus 8 degrees. Back to summer in Antarctica. There is also a wind chill machine. So just press here and then you start to blow. Oh! Wind is blowing. It's fine to us actually. Okay, are you ready to go? Yep. We're going to see the penguin. Thanks up. The feeding time is 10.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. <gasps> oh, come and take a look. The penguin is here. So there is a nest for them. You see that? Oh. Do you see anything else? No, the rest. There is another viewing room that you can have more clear uh, view of the penguin. Oh, oh hello. It smells a little bit fishy. There is a air freshener over here. Here is the acid. Go through this ice cave. So you don't have to go to Fox Glacier. You can come here to experience the thing. <laughs> it's quite fun to try the Higlin, right? Yeah. yeah. And that's my favorite for today. I do think that if you really take an interest in what goes on in the Antarctic, uh, perhaps this would be a very good platform for you to find out more information. So now we're going to return the van. Yes, let's go. After the short uh, and sweet uh, visit to the International Antarctic Centre that is located just beside Christchurch International Airport, we are really, really on our way to Brit's camper vans right now to return the camper van and bid farewell to our van life. home away from home for the past six days, JLH 770. There's a slight drizzle happening right now as we are driving back to the office. Right after we checked into the office, we will actually ch share with you a little bit more about the checkout procedure. Here okay, we are. so right now we are here at the RV Super Center and we are going to the one right here. This is the entry. Oh. oh, we are back to where it all begins. I can't believe that we ended the trip so fast. Yes. And like we had done so many things. We yes. bought the wine, we yeah. camped, we cooked, we a lot of things. Yeah, to do. exactly. Here we are. Yes. Time to return. So car return is over here. We will go to yes. make the checkup. 